So recently, I was working on a review for Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, and I stumbled across something odd, to say the least. While searching for a certain piece of music, I came across a couple of challenges. And it was in search of this very tune. You might be familiar with it. After all, it's the main theme to accompany most every Fire Emblem game. Now, a particular version of the song is what gave me so much trouble, as I had to spend a substantial amount of time finding it. You might even be familiar with this version. It's an opera version of the song. Renditions of it have appeared in several different games like Super Smash Bros. Brawl and even Fire Emblem Heroes. However, its actual origin is in a little Japanese ad from the 1990s. Take a look. The real trouble arises when this was the only version on YouTube I could find. The audio and visuals, for that matter, are insanely crusty, to say the least. However, like I said, it was the only version I could find. So, in search for a longer and hopefully cleaner riff of the song, I went to the YouTube search bar. Fire Emblem Main Theme, Opera. This song comes up. It's close, but it's too modern. After all, it was performed for Fire Emblem's 25th anniversary. We're going to have to dig deeper. Right below this video, I see another one that catches my eye. It's by YMCAN64. Fire Emblem theme, original commercial, English lyrics, 30th anniversary video. It's a very well put together music video celebrating Fire Emblem's Big 30. Moreover, do you hear that? It's the same song from the ad, but it's significantly decrusted. I head on over to the description, knowing that this has to be my big lead. Okay, there's some credits, but this isn't it. I make it to the bottom. Bingo. There it is, staring me right in the eye. The original upload that YMCAN was able to rip from. This could be very big. I checked the description. New lead. And it's another hard stop. Dead link. The site they got it from doesn't work anymore. So far my search has been fruitless. Nothing but reposted videos and dead ends. On the hunt for the next step, I head over to my old pal Google. After a couple quick little searches, I find a link to an old hub I used to wander, Serena's Forest. If you don't know what Serena's Forest is, it's probably the best place to learn and research Fire Emblem. The users there tend to be diehard fans and are incredibly knowledgeable. Jackpot, there it is. This is the song, and it's crisp like that fresh California smog. Fire Emblem theme, opera version, from Fire Emblem Sword of Seals, original soundtrack by Song, Nikai, released 2002, track 1, genre, game. But I noticed there's something wrong. The release date, that can't be right. The commercial was from 1990, in fact, Sword of Seals? What's going on here? Well, as it turns out, this song was such a massive hit that it would later be reused for Fire Emblem, The Binding Blade. A spin-off of the little-known series, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Ah yes, the warm embrace of old Fire Emblem ads and MP4 compression. Truly a sight to behold. But we're getting sidetracked. Suddenly, I remember something struck out to me about the Clean Rip's description, and found the lyrics at www.animelyrics.com which were translated courtesy of Ace Noctali. Feeling closer than ever to my goal, I hurriedly rush to Google. Fervently, I type in Anime Lyrics Fire Emblem Lyrics. Another lead, perfect. There, staring back at me from the void of 2002, I see it. Right in the title. Collection. Fire Emblem, Sword of Seals, Original Soundtrack Number 1. Description. FE6's commercial version of the Fire Emblem main theme. Another Google search, and I'm back in Serena's forest. Incredible. The entirety of Binding Blades OST, all in glorious, compressed MP3 format. Moreover, what was that picture used in Rabbit Weasel Studios' video? Its iconography stuck in my head. That blazing blade binded itself to my eyes. Of course, I remember there were words underneath that sword. I'd been so caught up basking in the crust-free audio and distinct sort of seals that I'd completely glanced over them. 
However, Google proved to be futile in this regard. My searches were flooded with another CD, a combined album of The Binding Blade and Blazing Sword. That is until I find one particular link. A SoundCloud link by Weasel Wolf. It's another clear as crystal rip of the iconic theme. And there's more to it. That little picture in Rabbit's video? That was only a small part of a whole. To the left of the image, cropped out of frame, lie some Japanese characters and a distinct code at the bottom. T-O-C-T-24827. There it is, the final piece. I entered it into Google. Lo and behold, results come up. I see a link for CD Japan, a website I commonly use to fuel my addiction for video game OSTs. Not sponsored, by the way. I click it, once again peering into my soul. It's that sword. I attempt to buy it before I realized, oh right, 2002. This thing has been sold out for 18 years. Out of options and desperate for some sort of resolution, I head over and click on the proxy button. My chance to own this legendary song in as close to original quality as possible. My heart is racing. Anything could go wrong. My account could decline. Shipments might get delayed. Another Fire Emblem superfan might snipe it. Building up the strength, I click buy. After a long day of research, I conclude for the night, exhausted at what has transpired. I wake up to a delightful email from the shipping company, notifying me that my package has finally come. I hurriedly rush down the stairs. And to my delight, there it is. Entering back into my room, I get straight into business, opening it up and unboxing its contents. It's beautiful. Truly a spectacle to behold for Fire Emblem fans. And most importantly, first song in the track list, that commercial theme. Remember the origin of the song? That 1990s commercial for Fire Emblem? Well, from what I could dig up, the Binding Blade might just have been this song's saving grace. So, the song was published by Toshiba EMI, now known as EMI Music Japan. And it was under the label of Eastworld, who you might actually know for their album release of Kingdom Hearts, among some other songs released by singer Hikaru Utara. And to say the contents of this album are bangers is quite the understatement. Yuka Sujioko is a legend in the world of Fire Emblem music. All of the music is fantastic, but that's besides the point. This is the cleanest rip from a commercial. And yes, after listening to both of them side by side, I can confirm that these are the same song, albeit used in different commercials. So I think it's safe to say that, without the Binding Blade, this song could have been lost to time, never to be released in the public. Japanese people in 2002 were able to get their hands on a piece of Fire Emblem history, all for the low, low price of 2,500 yen. And it's all thanks to this one game. I guess Roy really was our boy. And hey, in the description below, I'll have a link to an unlisted video with the clean rip of this song. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if you want to stay updated, hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.